The internet is fake, yet you believe it. If you're a Gen Z, chances are that your entire personality has been built on a couple of pixels moving around the screen. This is not necessarily a bad thing. It's part of your daily life after all. If you try to repress it, you are denying yourself of a real part of your existence. Just realize that the likelihood of these concepts formed through media to be grounded in reality is low. And that information sourced from TikToks and Reddit and news outlets is unlikely to have anything to do with reality. When you are terminally online, you form a view of the world which is complex and it drives you away from the simple reality of your direct experience. This can drag your mind in a downward spiral. That is because, as you learn these concepts, you try to apply them in the real world and you quickly find out that they don't work. This leaves you losing your self-esteem. When you consume this content fed to you by an algorithmic machine, you slowly create your personality based on pure fantasy and you believe it. You believe this falsehood deep inside your bones. Politics, culture wars and all these fantasies that create problems inside your mind but don't really happen in your direct experience of life have the power to bring you down mentally into a rut. The internet is wonderful, but it only takes a hardcore month of being offline, doing activities you'll actually remember that the understanding of most things on the internet being fantasy just hits you. And when you are done with the fun stuff, you return to your daily life and you start distancing yourself from such fantasy. You start choosing to not watch the news. You maybe install a custom Instagram app that blocks everything and only allows you to post. You choose to block the pages that bring you into the arena and away from the peaceful reality of your daily existence. This didn't take discipline, but it took understanding. Only by going through the motions of going into the world, disconnecting from the fantasy I've built, things came into clear view to me. One thing that hit me was on this recent trip with family in the mountains. We've been camping on the side of the lake for a couple of days. And this one day I was looking at the kayaks in the distance. And I thought to myself, I want that for myself as well. Without hesitation, I started gathering fallen logs, I got my axe and I started creating something out of nothing. I used to do this a lot when I was younger, not so much as an adult. There is something about building things with your own hands. It gives you this feeling of being able to move mountains. I just chop some wood, use some rope and I set sail on my personal fucking yacht. It was all that easy. Just imagine what else you could achieve if you had the same level of clarity on any goal in your mind. You don't need the fantasies of millions of smart people online. You need clarity. That's it. That understanding is all it takes. Most of my childhood I would be online telling myself that I'm learning. I would spend weeks inside watching YouTube and this would have its benefits, like learning the skills that landed me the dream job I never expected. But for the most part, that learning doesn't come without low quality brainwashing you are inflicting on yourself. And it shows, you have created maps based on the opinions of others. And they may work in very specific scenarios. But then you go touch some grass and realize that, whoa, all these things, they don't really apply, do they? And then by using first-hand experience, you gain a real taste of what ground truth feels like. Maybe you have examples in your life of people that on paper do everything incorrectly. They don't go through the right motions, yet still somehow they get better results than everybody else around them. Why is that? Achieved people in any endeavor take feedback directly from reality and they adjust their worldviews accordingly. They may have learned some useful maps on their journey, but they are soon to be discarded once feedback from the environment comes to rewrite their understanding. 
Maps are only useful for starting the journey, getting a sense of direction. They are the carrier, the train you take towards a destination, only to be departed once you have arrived to the real deal. But the modern day problem you are faced with is that you hang on to these maps, these fantasies, and it creates bitterness when you've learned so much, yet you're so far away from the truth. This is not necessarily caused by the internet. The internet is only an amplifier for such problems. And especially these days, it's your responsibility to guard your mind from the noise and get a feeling for reality directly. If you have a goal, let's say making money, you'll be met with a lot of people online that seem to have it all figured out, only to find out that they are giving advice on how to make money in areas they themselves did not even touch. This is a common occurrence in the making money sphere of YouTube. People that got rich off of talking in front of a camera, use that cash flow to make investments elsewhere, and then they tell everybody that the way they got rich is by their stock market investments, or building an agency, or dropshipping a dropshipping course. This understanding that most things are a fantasy has built a bitter taste in my mouth. Why is that? It's because I've realized that I've been wasting a lot of my life away chasing concepts that don't work. While it is always obvious to us what works. Really, we know the answers to the problems that trouble us in our daily lives. But we don't like the answers, so we search for alternatives, shortcuts, easy solutions in a bottle. And the only real shortcut I've come across is getting a deep understanding of the fundamentals. And that might be the hardest thing to get a hang of. It only so happens that fundamental understanding is built through direct feedback loops with reality. And that's a fancy way of saying, get experience, mate. And building this basis of fundamentals can be either through breadcrumbs like the right books, articles and podcasts, or being hit directly by reality, which is faster and more painful, and we are all avoiding all that pain. I see books, videos and articles and podcasts as breadcrumbs. Yeah, breadcrumbs. Books, videos, articles and podcasts inspire the direction. They showcase where your understanding could get to, but they themselves don't have the ability to bring you there. They showcase a possible path, but they're not the ones to walk you through to the final destination. It happens that the contents of the piece are a consequence of a fundamental understanding that happened through direct experience. And the words they've written are only a lagging indicator for that understanding. It is not the books and articles that will get you where you want. It is manifesting your desires through action, guided by the right information, tested and refined upon, using feedback from reality. So stop wasting time with fantasy. Shoot your shot with reality. Cheers for watching. Follow me on my socials and especially on the text-based platforms. Take a look at my website, I got some essays over there and the new products. If you like the look of my videos, I have a product called The Flavor. It is for you to get the exact same buttery smooth colors I have in my videos straight out of your camera with very little work.